I might ask you to comment on, on three particular players. Craig, beside you there as captain. Why you named, or you know, naming him as captain, and then having Jacob Stockdale back and selecting Marty Moore, who hasn't played a full international for over seven years. Well, we will start with the big fella. He's um, he's uh, he's an obvious choice for us. Uh, we we uh, approached the subject straight away, and it was unanimous that it was going to be Craig. Uh, why? Because. Um, it's him just being himself. He's a he's a he's a natural leader. Uh, just the way that he handles himself on a on a daily basis, um, in and around everyone. You know, he's the he's, he's the ultimate professional. He prepares really well, and he's been in and around this environment for for some time now. So the responsibility is a is a is 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 a nice step in 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 his journey as well. Oh, sorry. And then uh, Jacob. Um, well, we all know that Jake has been out injured for, for, for quite some time and, you know, there's a, there's a few lads that's uh, staked their place uh, pretty well o o over the last 12 months, but Jacob coming back at the start of the season has shown uh, a lot of hunger in my eyes looking at his p performances and I know that he's not played for, for a couple of weeks, but um, his hunger at the start of the season uh, of how he attacked the season shows me the the fight and the want to, um, to 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 get his spot back. So he gets the opportunity to uh, to to show us um, how he's um, going to push forward uh, with the rest of the season. And then with Marty, um, I think he's been ever present and consistently very good for 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 Ulster. You know, I think he's been the cornerstone of. Of the Ulster pack for, for for the last few years actually, and you know you fast forward all, all the way through to to his last game, him being the man of the match against Munster, he's he's earned the right to uh, deserve his chance um, to show his worth to his peers within the squad. Uh, the recent emerging Ireland tour, like it's not something that would normally happen, not mid-season anyway, and now there's this game. Is it something? that you view as happening because there's a World Cup next year or do you see potentially more of this and you want more of this in future seasons as well? Um, I think the more opportunity, the, 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 the better it's going to be for Irish rugby. So um, I suppose things have to, uh, a lot of things have to be in place for, for this kind of thing to, to continue to happen. But um, to, to give lads an opportunity to show their growth and what normally happens when they come into a, a different environment, you know, they learn from each other, they go back to the clubs and their own personal development um, Im improves as well. So that can only be a good thing that we need to look at. But, you know, if we look at the here and now, uh, the continuity from the Murray game to this, uh, and then the, the, the lads coming in now to play against this... Uh, this New Zealand Select 15 side is 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 a massive step up and the and the, and the right direction of a step up. You know, we 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 see some people um, thrive on the Emerging Island tour and then they come come into camp and they see what the the expectation is when they see the the senior boys uh, flying around in training, etc. It can only be a good thing for them and they get to show uh, um, their worth at a at a at a different level against what is going to be. Uh, a very strong New Zealand side on Friday night. And the last one from me, scouting the opposition, we always assume that individual players, structure, all that sort of stuff, there's loads of footage, and there's obviously loads of footage of all the players who'll be playing, but perhaps not as a team for, for what you're going to be facing on Friday. So how different is it? How much information do you give compared to, if you were, compared to say, information you're giving to the players who are playing on Saturday? Well, we've we've got plenty of information about the the, the opposition as individuals, and the, the lads are, will be well across all that. The 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 show no show no the um, the experience that they've got in the side. You know the the <coughs> amount of caps that they've got with the captain there and with uh, Mackenzie and um, uh, Perinara, etc. So we, we know the experience that that they've got and what they're going to show. We also know that our lads watch plenty of Super Rugby, so they. They know that these these lads that they're playing against on Friday night are, are the next uh, cabs on the rank as far as the All Black side is, is concerned, you know, and, and the the depth is is pretty deep as well. So we know that they're going to be very strong and, and a big step up from 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 the Murray's game. But the, at the same time, our lads came in on Sunday night and they've had a a couple of training sessions and 
you know, we expect them to be up to speed, so more the concentration has been on, been on our, ourselves in that regard. Oh, it's warm in here, isn't it? Uh, this is Will here from Virgin Media. How are you doing? Very good, thanks, Will. Just wanted to ask you, is this like the perfect opportunity for those names in the A's to want to show you why they should be in your plans over the next 12 months, not just in the A's team, but in the senior squad? That has been the message. That has been the message all along um, since since the summer since the summer tour. We get to see you serious about wanting to uh, um, be in the room, um, not just for not just for the medium or long term, which some of these guys obviously are, but for for the short term as well. You know, come come the Six Nations, we want a a big headache as as coaching staff of of, of making sure that we understand that we have grown the pool and uh, it's uh, one of uh, a very competitive nature regarding. Uh, Six Nations selection. So this is this is um, this is why we're doing it. Will you know this is this is the whole point to make sure that everyone we've had 50 lads in the same room uh, all week and they're all looking across the room at each other and they know who the competition is and it doesn't really matter whether you whether you class yourself as a senior player or a new kid on the block. Um, we'll see who's got the hunger from uh, from the experience that they've had all week. Just looking down through the, the starting 15, it's quite an inexperienced 15. Obviously, you've got Craig Casey as captain. You've Jacob Stockdale, who's 35, senior caps. But are you looking for some of these younger players as well to show their leadership skills and to take control of what is a, a fairly inexperienced team? It is. It's, um, it, it's, it's very inexperienced, but it, it is a mixed bag in, 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 in regards to some of the lads have been involved in three or four camps and not probably had an opportunity that they think they deserve. Um, some of them, some of those lads are on one, two, three, four, five caps, etc. And they want to, they just want an opportunity as well as the emerging island boys coming in to just show what they've learned in our environment over a period of time. And again, it's just about opportunity, creating those opportunities for them to show the worth to, to the peers in, in, in the shot window on Friday night at the IDS is, is going to be valuable for, for, for everyone concerned. Um, yeah, I mean, you you look at that, you you look at lads who are on one cap, you know, Robert Balcon, for example, uh, you know, um, he, he's been in many accounts, but not really had that much opportunity. Joe McCarthy and Kian Prendergast um, and, and a few others, a few other lads as well have um, been in camps, but not been capped, you know. So it's their chance. It's their chance to to show the fight on Friday night and show that they're ready for the big stage. And you know, there's there's an opportunity for them to show uh, that they're they're able to handle the, the the big stage. And hopefully that that transfers to a, to, to a cap for a few of them. Well, it's a must if you want to play for us because that's what we 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 challenge ourselves to be uh, more than more than anything really uh, team first players. Uh, I think that's a point of difference for us as a team, and it's something that we've tried to develop over over the last few years. That you know when we're when we're uh, all on point together, you know we're we're a decent side. When we start playing on our own and come come a little bit desperate, you know we're we we become a little bit average. So. Those guys who's taken the field on Friday night sure know that it's about um, uh, them helping the team to be as good as they possibly can be. That's right, thanks, Andy. Thanks, Will. Hey, uh, Craig, just I'll jump in if that's all right. Uh, congratulations on, on getting captaincy. Um, I was just wondering if you could bring me to just the kind of the conversation you had with Andy, like where, where, where it happens, like uh, just your feelings when he kind of mentioned to you the, this big honour that you're going to get. No, thanks very much, first of all. Um, it happened Monday morning, just before the team was named. He just pulled me aside for a, a normal chat that we would have, and he asked me then. I was absolutely delighted. Um, massive honour for, for me, um, for my family, for everyone that's that's helped me to this point, I think. 
it's a huge honour for them as well. But no, I was absolutely delighted. Um, it's such a great team to be a part of and to be asked to to lead a side as well. It's it's a great honour. And just from your own experience, like you know, even going through schools or underage, like have you had, had much captaincy experience and, and just kind of willing to take on the challenge as well? I have, yeah. Um, all my teams grown up in art school, I was the captain of, and then with the Irish 18s, I had a, a bit of captaincy. So um, I'm well used to captaining teams, but this is obviously to a next level and kind of controlling the week with with lads that are part of the leadership group as well has been has been enjoyable. And Andy, just one for you as well. Um, David, we were chatting to David News for last week, and he mentioned this pecking order and how maybe this Emerging Ireland tour changes everything around. We might not get to see that actual list of 50 players, but what what does that do for lads to kind of hear stuff like that that there is this kind of like top order and a pecking order that, that you can push ahead if you kind of come in and impress you guys as well it means everything to us as a squad we've got we've got to embrace that um as, as a squad you know we've got to want to compete and and, and at the same time be, be as good a teammate as we possibly can be and it's something that we we, we talk about all the time because you know, not one of our lads is ever going to be complacent, but at the same time, to to have a, an extra edge by knowing that somebody's clipping at the heels the whole time is is, is super important. Uh, I constantly say to the lads that they're in charge of selection, uh, not me, you know, and uh, if things become on a par 50-50 wise, then, you know, it's up to me to, to make a decision, but that is, it's, up to, it's up to them in the first place to, to make sure that they take that type of opportunity into their own hands and in that regard in that regard um, I see a lot of hunger because of the opportunities that we have with the with the Murrays and the Emerging Island I see a lot of lads wanting to be part of this and you know that's that's that can only be good for us all as a squad going forward Perfect. thank you cheers take the last couple there Rory trying to get in hey Andy hey Rory no, no, he's still he's still going through his um, his rehab, so he's uh, he's just staying connected with the side. As has Bundy been been up with us as well. It's been fantastic. It's been great. Um, it's been different, and I like it being different. I don't like uh, people just going through the motions and just ticking boxes as far as schedules are concerned, etc. As you know, so in that regard, it's been fantastic. You know, we've um, we've had two teams going against each other, which we don't which we don't normally get. We normally get lads going against each other who know exactly what's going on. So the, the vibe. The, the vibe in and around the place is, uh, has been uh, has been perfect for us moving forward. So it's been a great experience for everyone. Um, it's nice to to um, to have everyone in the room, like I said before, and, and for everyone to to acknowledge where everyone's at and, and see who's coming, etc. Is 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 uh, very exciting for us all to be part of. And you've got here on the start the Jack on the bench, and Jack seems to come back from that emerging tour in incredible form and breaking into. It's good. It's healthy. It's 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 very healthy. You know, it's yeah. You 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 give you give somebody a sniff and you you, you see how how they how they take it. You know, whether they grab it and run with it. You know, and uh, you can see uh, from from a lot of those lads coming back in from the Emerging Island, they 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 understand what it takes delivering that on a on a different level is the next step along, uh, uh, along the ladder and it's going to be very interesting to see on friday night